Hello, welcome back to the shop. I wanted to save you all the pain of just watching me sand. So what I've done is I've level sanded the guitar after the second coat of, uh, second series of coats of clear. And it's now down to 600 uh, grit. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to use a series of uh, dry papers called Super Acelex and Super Bufflex. And basically it's going from 600, which is this one, to 800, 1200, 1500, 2000, and then 3000. I'm gonna go all the way through the grits. Um, you didn't have to see the level sanding, which took almost all day today. It was just really tedious and slow and all done by hand. And I'm just gonna do the rest of it by hand. I'm gonna do the rest and it hopefully will not take um, quite so long from your end. And I'll try to put it in hyperlapse and then probably speed that up too. Um, the next step after that is going to be attempting to use a new polishing method that I've been uh, I've seen on the internet so we're going to try that instead of what I normally use which was using some auto polish this is a different set of auto polish and I'm going to try uh, a new version a new technique and hopefully that one will give me the results that I really really want um, so we'll see how that goes okay I'm actually finally done with the hopefully final sanding, which went from 600 grit, 800 grit, 1200 grit, 1500 grit, 2000, and then finally 3000, all done by hand. Um, I've got a light, which I use uh, as a reflection just to check my work during the process, but you can see that even though there is a matte finish, it's still quite shiny. So on to the next step, which is going to be polishing. And I will show you what we will do in terms of polishing. So here I'm using a rubber eraser to act as a backing for the Super Acelex. In this step, I'm using 800 grit Super Acelex. The rubber eraser acts as a flat surface that helps yield a nice flat surface after, during the sanding process. sander. Uh, it, I've got several different thicknesses of the sponge pads and I'm going to be using this system which is the Norton liquidized system and basically using the same the same uh, polishing compound with the varying thicknesses of uh, the pad and it should hopefully help go uh, go smoothly and then I'll finally end up finishing with this. Um, now, I'm getting a lot of my techniques from the um, luthiers um, and people that polish um, from other, um, I mean, other guitars, so like other luthiers. So this is a method from Brad Ango, and I'm gonna go ahead and see if this works actually for me trying to find the right, uh, the perfect finish for my guitar.
just like the back of the guitar, I'm starting off with the Norton Ice with the orange pad. And then I go to the green pad. But as you can see, uh, even with just the Norton Ice, you're getting a nice, nice shine going. From there, I switch to the 3M polish using both the blue pad and then the black pad. And this really helps bring out the shine even nicer. It produces a nice, deep shine. I'm very, very happy with this technique. Okay, so this is the finish. And I'm very, 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 very happy with it. Um, after I level sanded and went through all the grips, I did try using the polish pads, which were great, but I did notice a little bumpiness in there. So I went back and re-sanded it uh, using the Mirka Avalon pad and uh, a, a palm sander. And it actually looked, that uh, came out um, fairly good and, and level. So uh, I've taken out all the, the tape on the inside. What I'm going to be doing now is because I had this taped over, I do have a little bit of, of a burr here um, where the paint had come up uh, next to the tape. So I'm going to try to um, sand that down. And so the first thing I'm going to do is prep up the guitar uh, just so I don't scratch up this finish because I spent so much time on it. I don't want to ruin it. There's the headstock. Um, so. Almost there. Here I'm using Scotch-Brite pads to help take off that burr, that little hard edge that was on the side of the fretboard where the paint met the masking tape. I start off with the maroon Scotch-Brite and then go to the gray Scotch-Brite and then ultimately to the white. <laughs> 